Hi there guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. My name's Matt, I'm an economics graduate and accountant, and today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my favorite watch, um, and quite possibly my favorite all-round possession, and that is the 41 millimeter Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. So when it comes to talking about luxury watches, which in itself is a relative term, I think there's two important angles that need to be considered. Firstly, there's the facts and figures side of things, whether that be dimensions, materials, materials or price but as well as that I think it's also important to think about this sort of purchase from an emotional or a psychological perspective too. So let's dive straight in if you'll pardon the pun with the slightly more tangible side of things. The Aqua Racer which has seen a number of refreshes and updates throughout the years was originally inspired by the quintessential dive watch the Rolex Submariner but that certainly doesn't make this tag a knockoff Rolex. In fact, loads and loads, if not all, of the dive watches on the market at the moment are heavily based around the look and feel of the Submariner, with the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mantra being applied across the board. It's the same as, let's say, a fancy new top of the range Samsung phone. When you boil it down, a touchscreen iPhone is probably the classic modern day smartphone and Samsung's wouldn't look the way they do today if it wasn't for the work of Steve Jobs back in 2007. But does this mean Samsung's are cheap knockoffs? Absolutely not, and that is exactly how I view the dive watch market as well. So now we've cleared that up, I mean, I think this is a stunning watch. There's a great balance between the fantastic styling on one hand, combined with the functionality on the other, which makes it a great everyday watch that isn't over the top in any way. And that's actually the main reason I went for this black color option just to add that extra level of wearability it'll go with every type of outfit but also every color of outfit so we've got anti-reflective sapphire crystal glass covering the face the watch is water resistant up to depths of 300 meters although i can't say i've ever got close to testing that out there's the date display window at three o'clock there's a really nice aluminium bezel which feels really sturdy really secure the hands are luminous which again is advertised as being really helpful if you're diving in the dark but for me comes in more handy when i go to the loo in the middle of the night and i want to check how much sleep i've got left but let's move on to the more interesting angle now in my opinion and that's how this watch makes me feel when i wear it that might sound like a bizarre thing to say to anybody who doesn't care about watches in the slightest although i'd argue if you clicked on this video in the first place that's your own fault but for me when i wear this watch i just feel amazing and i feel like i've really got my shit together it's nothing to do with insecurities or to show off or to prove a point it's nothing like that it's more that the watch is a representation of all the hard work that i've put into my career thus far and this is how I like to enjoy the product of that work. And also, I suppose, to act as a subtle reminder of the fact that I can be quite materialistic and that continued hard work and effort is going to be required into the future if I'm going to try and build the sort of lifestyle that I want going forwards in terms of watches and cars and holidays. Would life be easier and simpler if I didn't care about brands and material goods? Probably yes, but can I snap out of the way that I am uh, not that easily I don't think. That said I am trying to take small steps in the direction of minimalism in certain areas of my life although that's probably one for another video. So to wrap up my thoughts on this thing I absolutely love it. It serves its exact purpose for me both in terms of a tangible and emotional sense. There is certainly a school of thought that's emerged in recent years that Tag Heuer watches are overpriced or that other manufacturers produce technically better watches or even that the brand has let itself down in terms of becoming a fashion brand rather than a luxury watch specialist but I think my internal response to all this is really so what in life there's always going to be people that are both above and below your current station there's a great video that pops up on my Instagram from time to time of a guy walking along the pavement and being overtaken by a cyclist and you see him think to himself man I really wish I could afford a bike and then the cyclist gets overtaken by a bus and he wishes he could afford a bus pass every day and then a car overtakes the bus and a sports car overtakes that car and so on and so on and I really like thinking back to this at times if you're never going to be happy in your own life until there's nobody overtaking you then I think you're probably in for quite a miserable one I think it's absolutely fine to be materialistic to an extent and to enjoy your possessions just got to make sure that you don't let the chase overtake your emotions 
uh, more often than it should do. And to me, this watch is a reminder of that and a symbol of positivity, and that's why it's currently my absolute favorite possession. Please do let me know what you think of this outlook on life, guys. I'd be really interested to hear if anybody at all can relate. Other than that, all the best till next time. Stay safe and bye-bye.